Hello everybody, Darnell here. Uh, I'm going to show you um, sort of a simple way, not really a simple way, but one of the features you can use with the streaming component, the S underscore. <clears throat> this basically turns the system into like a TV. What I try to do is have uh, the desktop control panel on the same screen as my, I have a laptop running the same software over here and I'm sort of letting you see it at the same time. Now if I make that bigger you can see that that's one of the billboard systems running but it's on one of my laptops which would be the same as having a, an ad server out in the world. Okay so I'm going to put it right here and it's running on my number six which you can see right there. It's my uh, server which is master. Um, just because I was the first one. You can see also that the software version is 1601 which this can still work even with um, the older versions it's just I'm, I just did some work today on uh, allowing it to work off of a remote drive, I mean a, uh, like a USB drive or something uh, for one of the clients so I just send it out to everybody but anyway while I'm doing that I'm going to show you the other thing here so notice how that system is running and that's number six of course is what I'm connected to if I wanted to send a live video stream whether it be a live video from YouTube Live or um, you know YouTube or Vimeo or anywhere I'm gonna show you how I can send it so I've connected to it let me just do it all over again so I would basically log into my system which would have been my master system and it says folder set and notice I'm going to pick number six, which is already picked. I'm going to just sync it instead of loading the ads. I don't really care about those ads. I'm just going to sync to it, which basically loads a list of the ads that are on the system. Wait for a few seconds, even though they're still there. And I'd go ahead and do it for real. And I also updated the software so that if that software version was not right, or not uh, the same as what's in there or what's up to date that right there would turn red that way you know that whatever you're looking at has a lower version of software now I don't remember updating this part right here so it's sort of strange um, somehow I must have did it in my sleep anyway so let's say we're connected and all that kind of stuff and you want to send something live over to this screen over here and remember now it's acting just like a regular old billboard and I don't know if you can see it, but right here in this bottom corner is a little red um, asterisk. Let me make, see if I can make it bigger here. It's right here somewhere. About every 30 seconds, it's going to blink. And what that is, is like a heartbeat. It's like sort of looking to see if a remote command is going to be sent so it can sort of do it live. And really, it's within 30 seconds, uh, maybe 30, maybe 40 seconds. You'll see when this light when this little light comes up. I'll show you in a minute. Let's sit back and watch it. Now my camera's zooming in out trying to autofocus on these things. So there it goes. See right there? Right there. A little red dot right there. Now in real life it's like an asterisk. So let me make it a little smaller. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here under playlist, which is a new feature. And I happen to have like some of these S underscores which are for like the TV mode or the billboard TV mode and I'm gonna say open and I have a whole bunch of them right so let me look down through here and I'm gonna pick like um, I was just looking at it crimes TV notice it loads the URL it loads the icon or image that's associated with it because I created it within this software to begin with and I'm just gonna go take this URL right here let me take the whole thing here copy that and I'll go back to this because this is still synced up to my system put it right here and I already know it works because I tested it before so let's play it right here we can see anyway so now that's working. stop it then I'm gonna go live to it now if I, now if I hit I'll go live go live if I hit to all basically it stands for go live to all every system in my network and I think I have six of them right here will all go live with whatever this URL is okay but I'm gonna just do it to number six that's the one I'm synced up with which is number six 
we'll say go live notice it says live stream sent to master six so we'll just sit here and watch it looks like that's still running over there I don't know why it's freezing doing something well, what it's doing right now actually oh, it must was doing something it must was updating ads or something anyway because I had it running all day but now when that little red dot shows up here which you can't see in the small window make it a little bigger Remember, I told you it takes 30 to 40 seconds or something, 45 seconds. Now, in real life, this would be like somewhere downtown or could be in another side of the world when you do this. The time would be about the same. That's a slower machine over there. That's what that is over there. It's, it's a, there it goes. It looks like it found something. Because it's having a little hard time. It's, it's pretty slow. Oh, look at that. See, it says streaming video detected. And there it goes. So let me run, let that run in the corner. Now, see what it does is for a split second there, it looks at it and goes, hey, I can put that in a higher resolution. So it froze for a second, recalibrated to um, high def, and now it's displaying that in a high definition mode. Let me turn this light off here so I can see it a little better. Okay. Now that little blue dot right there is my webcam over there. It has like a blue dot. I don't like that dot. <laughs> it puts it right on my screen. But notice it's streaming now TV. Now this thing will never get out of this mode until you either reset it right here, which is right here in this corner, which because I'm connected to 6, I can reset it. But because I had this just in here when you reset it it'll just go back to being a billboard but as long as I never touch this it'll just keep playing this stream forever and just update the sponsor ads on the right hand side so this is a way you can put a machine into like live mode like if you wanted to go live like immediately and show something um, and it turns itself basically into a billboard TV system or in this case a closed circuit system uh, like like uh, when you're watching news or something, they come in live on you or something like that. Uh, let me turn this down a little bit. Okay. Turn that down. But you can see it's still running back there. Now, let's say I wanted to change it to a different one. I could literally go back and find me another one. Let me open another list here. Let's see. Let's look at something. Um, here's some music videos. See if they work. This is from Loop TV. Don't ask me how I have this link, but I have it. Let me copy that. Go back to this. Clear that out. Notice it doesn't do anything over there until I send something over there to it. Okay, and let me go live. I don't have to stop the other one. Let's just wait a bit. if it picks it up up oh, see streaming video detected all right now we got 90s video running see it's going to resense it to see if it's high def and boom now look how clear it is so now to stay in that high definition mode now it's amazing how this camera is like continuously auto auto focusing and it's a webcam that's pretty cool i don't like it though but this is the way i can turn it off but anyway, you can see how that's now streaming something else. The sponsor side over here, that's going to change, you know, according to how often I have the ads set up right here. It's, notice I have them set up for every 15 seconds. I could slow that down, I mean, or speed it up by making it a smaller number and then resetting it, which will knock this out. But right now, that's what's live running. Okay, I'm put that in the corner. The other thing I can do. If I want to stop that, I can just hit reset. Remember, I'm still connected to number six still. And wait that same 30 to 40 seconds or so. And you see the video still running over there. Make it a little bigger. Notice the little thing happened right there. Exclamation point happened. And that went back to being a standard billboard system. 
I'm doing this all remotely. So this could be down at your grocery store or barbershop or whatever it is. And um, that could be happening. Another thing I could do is I could go out to the internet. Let me go find something. Let's say, let's go to YouTube or something. You find um, a little short film. I like their stuff. What's the secret? Uh, I don't have to let it play. I can just take this URL right here. I can first test it in here. See if it works, you know, remotely. And if it does it, we'll go get something else. Looks like it does it. Okay, so let's go find another one. A lot of them don't work remotely because they're trying to monetize it directly on YouTube. Let me find something that's not, you know, vulgar. Um, yeah, let's see if that one works. Copy that. Stop it. Go back to this here. Clear it. Paste it in there. If it works here. They might have went back and made all these dust videos um, so they want to make their money off of YouTube. Let me stop and try something else. Let me just get out of the dust stuff. Find something totally different. Um, get to watch YouTube. Some weird stuff on here. I probably don't want to you to see live. After being stuck in. Let me see about this one. Go back here. Clear that. Put that in there. Play it. Oh, I'm striking zero on some of the on all these. Everybody wants to. There it goes. Okay. After being stuck inside, so. Okay, so that one does work. So we'll say go live on this one. Let me minimize all this stuff. You can see over here. So I just went live with that one video. And we'll. Wait and see if it picks it up. That's coming from YouTube. Normally, you would put videos up in your own YouTube account and, you know, not make them private or anything. And um, you can unlist them if you want, but I don't see why you would. And then you could post them from your own channel. And let's see, it's going to detect. Yep, streaming video, detect it. And there it is. Okay. So now that we're streaming stuff from YouTube. And remember again, my camera's continuously refocusing, which I don't like that. Let me make that smaller. Let's try another thing. Let's go to, um, how about Vimeo? Vimeo. Watch. Okay, let's find something. And they try to monetize theirs too, so let's try something. Here's. Oh, it's like a cartoon right here. Let's see, what that, see what that looks like. All right, let me kill that. You'll take that URL. Notice I'm just taking the URL right here. Go back here to this guy. Clear this out. Put that in. Try to play it. I'll go live with it. Let's go see how long it takes to get over there. So, oh, I just like, I thought I saw something here. Yep. It might have picked it up. Yep, picked it up already. There it is. There's the other video. Some cartoon of sorts. Actually, a good looking cartoon, I tell you that. Look at that. I like the way they drew that. I'll have to go back and look at that. Looks really, really good. Okay, anyway, so you see how I'm pushing video content over there. And the sponsor side, in this case, will continuously update. You can run ads here while leaving this in basically what I call Billboard TV. So it's just continual content running in the middle, no ads in the, in the big area, but your ads will be on this right side. Okay. Uh, let me try something else. Now, I installed this other little piece of software. That allows me to pull uh, streams out of stuff. So let's try that right quick. I am going to 
Uh, let's look at something. I need to go and run this. I'm running a lot of stuff on one laptop here. Let me pick something like, um, how about CNN? Let's just pick a CNN here. Or, you know, opposition figures, purported opposition figures to yes. President Trump getting pipe bombs yeah. sent to them in the mail. Turn it off. And I have this software on here. Notice that it, it grabs me. It's like a sniffer. It grabs the URL. So I'm going to copy this right here. One of them is a higher def one. And I think it'll switch. There we go. Let me copy that one. And let me stop it. Oh, let me see how I can stop a video from even running in here. Here we go. Stop that. Let me minimize this. Clear this out. Put this in here. Play it. See if it works. And it the does. image, not what you were or not who you were. So I know it works. It's going to re recache it probably. Or I might have killed it. Look like I might have killed it. Let me try this. Let me close it. I'm, I'm running out of memory resources, what's happening. Let me run it again. Let me go ahead and connect to master again. Didn't take long. Go to number six. Sync it. Notice it's still over there because that's the webcam looking at it. I'm connected to it. There it is. And when it's done, all right, sync complete. So let me go ahead and paste that CNN in there and go live with it and see if it picks it up. We'll see a little red thing right here somewhere. All right, it should be coming here soon. He knows I don't do anything all day, but do this stuff seem like anytime now. Here it goes. See if it picks it up. Yep, streaming video detected. And there's CNN. Now it might blink for a second to see if it can get it at a higher resolution. If not, it might just, it might have caught it at its resolution that it likes. And it did. And we can tell, let me turn the sound up, you'll see. So you can hear it. That's how easy it is. To find like streams, um, showing you that little software. Now that's a plugin I used inside of Google um, as an extension, so that anything I see as a video, it if it can find the stream out of it, it gives me that URL to it. Let, let me find something else. That's like how about um, sports? People like sports. Let's see what kind of sports we got here. Um, NBC Sports. If we can see it, we can probably stream it. And we can. Notice there's the URL for it. Oh no, what is this? That may be a commercial for it, but it is says it was sports of some sort. So let me go copy that URL. Let's see, that's a. Let me see what that is. Let me copy this one. Let's pause it. Go over here and see if we can use it. Clear. Play it. And there it is. Stop it. Go live with it. Let me minimize all this. Let's take a look. Look, stream detected. And there it is. That's it live, running right there. So that's how I got that stream. Now that's also how I make the um, the S video and the playlist and stuff like that by going over here to playlist and I put that playlist in here like this. That would be like that uh, sports whatever it was, and I would add it to the system. I would save it or create the list here, 
and then it'll open up a uh, area where I can get an image and I'll tie image to it and then I can save it as either a playlist if I have multiples in there or as a S underscore which is for the billboard TV mode <clears throat> and then it would just have one URL and an image to go with it that you can install onto your uh, billboard system now if I wanted to use one of these to come up on its own instead of it like running live like this let me go ahead and reset that I would go to the website after I've created it and let me kill that and that and I go to my area on the on the uh, damn ad controller in my case I go over to master you see my little ugly face and I'm working with number six so I go to number six over here which is this guy that's where the bigger ads would be that's where the sponsor ads of number six notice it says system six sponsor six so I'm going to go inside of system six notice I only have three regular ads in there which I sort of superseded when I was uh, putting that TV mode in if you notice there's that ad running you see there's a coca-cola classic and if we wait there's another what, take floor or something I don't know what that says let's say I sort of got a I can't see it with the cam on there but you see it's that right there take the floor 213 that's what it is then I got two of these same ads here now the thing is when you upload the same exact ad it actually creates the ad with like a 01, 02, 03 off by itself so it doesn't make it the exact same ad or the system will see it as one ad and you don't have one in there so this system will duplicate the numbers for you so if I wanted the TV the system to go into a TV mode all by itself instead of me going live like this I would go over here and I'd upload the two files that, that turned it into a TV so I go add items choose let me go to sample ads go over to playlists and I have all these playlists I've created of different kind of things. So let's look at something like um, what would be good here. Let's see what I have. All right, here's that crime thing. So let me upload the image for it, which says un s underscore crime crime times. Take that one, and then we go find the text file to go with it. So that was what crime times or whatever. Let me look for it. Oh, right there. Crime Times, right there. This is, so now you have the image and the file, the text file that goes with that image. Okay, because remember that when it sees that image, it's going to pull the URL that's inside this text file and then try to stream it. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. Now, it won't change the system until, again, this is set for three hours, three hours from now or wherever it's, you know, in that time. But you can force it to change into whatever you upload it by going over here while you're logged into the while you're logged into this specific system and say reset the ad server. That will force this to be to wake up again and look for new ads. So let's go take a look at it. You see like a little asterisk come up here in a second. First it'll be the star or the ask the asterisk, then it'll, then it'll bring up a exclamation point meaning it's an all stop reset in my code. I make these little things like little characters and things so if anybody sees it out in the real world they don't really know what those things mean. I'm telling you what they mean but they wouldn't know what they mean but you could literally look at your system and sort of diagnose it. See there's this asterisk and look exclamation point so it got it so it's going to reset it now. Notice the G come up for saying it's good internet. It would be I if the internet had a problem. And you can only do this while it's connected with the internet. Remember, I added the uh, run local mode off of a you know SD drive or something or a USB drive. You can't control it like this. That would only be local stuff. You'd have to change the ads out yourself uh, in person. So now it's downloaded stuff. Now let's wait for a few seconds, and it's going to lock itself into that S mode and never come out. So it doesn't matter what other ads are in there, but it will rotate rotate those for a randomly until it finds that other one and once it finds that other one it's going to lock itself in so watch this so that was two ads keep on going 
And the reason why you put in the same ad a couple of times just so it shows up more. That's all. You get a new client. I put a lot of them in so they get a lot of views and I back them back out. 15 seconds is a long time to watch and wait. And it could be the exact same ad that came up because I have two of the same ones. Up, oh, see? It found the uh, stream. And now it's, see, crime time. Now it's locked in and it'll never come out of that mode. But notice we did this remotely. See, it had reset to get a higher resolution version of it. Notice it's much clearer now. So now from this point forward, it's locked into that TV mode, or which I call billboard TV mode. And then the only thing you can do, like I said, is you can modify these um, sponsor ads on the right-hand side. And, you know, you can change some of the stuff down here, scrolling and all that. But um, as long as it sees that S underscore in there, it's done. Now, the only thing that could take over that would be those H's or the L's. Those two types are timed. So if we take a look at those, go to the website, and we go under uh, details and go under video tagged images. You'll notice that there's some H's and some L's. Well, the reason why these will take over the billboard TV mode because these are programmed with a date and time and all that kind of stuff very specific so it'll load those and if it sees that it'll override the one that's running in live stream you know like it could be like a TV or a show or whatever that you might have programmed in there um, the only difference between the the H and the L is the H handles YouTube stuff and the L will have to take a second file See, this one, the H's don't need a second file. They have everything they need to go and grab this YouTube URL at a specific date and time. Whereas the L has the same date and time, but since it's not YouTube, it was it's going to look for a text file that has the long URL stream in it that it goes and grab. So, for instance, you can set it up for 5 o'clock to turn on the, the news. And that thing would be like the URL for CNN or something or Fox or whatever. Uh, persuasion you want to push into that location okay anyway that's all I had for today just wanted to show you that oh no no let me back up I'm sorry I really did this for another reason and that is to show you that it can run with a uh, external drive now what I have here which I don't recommend is a whole hard drive on a USB port I recommend you use um, like a USB stick or something that doesn't take so much power because this thing takes too much power and this is what it looks like you can see it right there okay but I don't want to use that I recommend you using and let me get one here something like this okay turn on my light back again well if you can see that see I recommend you using you know a regular USB stick now what happens is when you put this in and I don't know if I have the latest software over there or not and I don't have it set up for this what I'd have to do to make this work oh I can do it here locally let me do that I'm gonna turn this one off for a while you don't need to see that one and I am going to plug this into my PC right now let me see here Okay, and you'll see it wake up in a minute. Normally, if you have a USB drive, it won't do what it what this, is, this is about to do because it has a couple drives in there. And I don't see it waking up. Oh, there it is. I didn't have it plugged all the way in. There we go. Probably heard it wake up. See, it shows the two drives. Notice that I have a drive named F on here. And in that folder, in that drive, I have a folder called Ads. That's after you have to set it up. Inside Ads is where you put all your files, okay? Videos, uh, still images, whatever. Remember, it can't stream anything, okay? So it will not show anything that is connected to the Internet, okay? So let me go ahead and 
and notice I do have some V underscores but it's going to detect that there's no internet so it's not going to play it there's also some regular videos here real mp4s so the way to set the system up is you go to your the this would be like your ad server that you have so I go to C go to billboards and in here now this is the update I'm going to go in here and find this file I have a file called internet.txt so back in billboards I'm going to paste that out here you would probably just make it let me go find it where to put it right here inside that text file there's two things it's internet is false and the drive letter well the drive letter won't mean anything if, if you're telling the internet is false but if we say the internet is true we have to also make sure this letter is true now we know that drive if we look at it is an F drive right and it's the one that has the ads in it so I'm gonna say the internet is oh, let me go back I don't want to make it true I want to make it false so the internet is false and this is the drive we're going to use. If we put in true, it's just going to go to the internet like normal and ignore the drive. Put in false means internet false. It's going to go and use that drive letter. Save it. Get out of here. And then I'm just going to run the software, which is right here. And let me update it because I did just update this software. Oh, this wrong one to update. Let me update this one. This will go get the latest version of the software, which is uh, 16.0.1. And it's going to download it. I've even modified this now to look a little different. All right, it's updating it. It's running it. My neighbor out there, hey. Walking her cute dog. And notice that it went directly in it didn't even do the G mode or any of that stuff notice no G no nothing it's this running around it's running directly off the um, external drive it's not looking for internet anymore it's direct local so this is how you can use a system for things like inside of trolley cars and buses and taxi cabs trains that don't have internet or you have an area you really want to use but they don't have internet so you can just you just have to go by there every so often to update your ads what I would do is put it on a USB drive, you know, like a little flash stick or whatever. Put all your ads on there and like once a week just replace the, the, uh, the USB stick. Don't just take it and upload. Just have two of them. One to fill up and replace and then take the other one out. And the next time you fill that up and replace it, that kind of thing. So that's it. That's how it works in the regular um, offline mode. That's all I have. So... If you have any questions on any of that stuff, just give me a buzz. Until next time, see you later.